Hello everyone, it is I, Republic Studs, and in the spirit of the Halloween season coming up, I thought it would be a great video to make the scariest LEGO Star Wars sets LEGO has ever made. Now, I don't think this is exactly have to make the sets themselves scary, but it definitely has to be the, at least the scene surrounding it, or parts of the set, or the figures in the set. I can't wait to get into this. The spoopy season is among us, so please remember to subscribe, and let's get right on into the top 10 scariest sets LEGO has ever made. For our 10th scariest set, we have set... 10018, the Darth Maul bust. Now, this set is super creepy. We already know how creepy Maul as a character is in general, and I was debating on between putting this here or his buildable figure, which is also notably very creepy. But this thing is only number 10, and we've maximized these creepiness by a thousand. And I don't know what it is. Is the scary eyes, the weird teeth, the fact that it's a human head built in Lego, or the horns? I don't know. It's all creepy, and I think the face says it all. But the fact that it is only number 10 is insane. And let's move into number 9. For our next scariest set, we have the droid tri fighter at number 9. Now, obviously, this set isn't very scary in itself, but what is scarier are the figures, unironically enough. You get three of the rocket battle droids, whose main job was to hunt down innocent people in escape pods to kill them to make sure there are no survivors and their clones would just sit in there and be helpless and do nothing and it makes it depressing obviously for those who died and it makes it even scarier for those who know they're out there and have to worry about their pod being squished and not doing anything about it without getting caught uh and i'm genuinely shocked like i actually made these droids considering they could have put any droids really in this but yeah let's move into the number eight spot at number 8, I have the Geonosian Cannon, which again, itself isn't scary, it's a Geonosian Cannon. But what is scary is the zombie Geonosian, which are super freaky, that was included in this set. I don't know if it's the empty wife eyes, or the dead torso, these guys were something to be feared in the Clone Wars that shows. And the fact that they included like Luminara, who almost got infected, and that was just a whole scary arc and I hated it and it was gross. And I think they really fit in the realm of, you know, scary sets. It's a zombie. And it definitely made a good fit for me. And they're one of the only zombie figures on the list in, in the Star Wars line. At number seven, I have Emperor Palpatine's shuttle. A little known fact about me is that when I first watched the uh, Star Wars movies in order, my parents didn't let me watch the Order 66 scene or Anakin burning alive. Uh, and that's for a good reason. That scene is really dark and scary. I was scared of it for years after I, wa I first watched it. I watched it like later on when I was like nine and that freaked me out for like a few years. And uh, now I'm desensitized by it because of the memes. But apparently Lego made this figure from the scene where Palpatine went to Mustafar to rescue him. And the set itself is fine. It reminds me almost of like, you know, the bad batch shuttle say, but it's crazy. And I never really thought about it too much, but the both Palpatine and Vader became so deformed at the same time to uh, take, you know, taking over the galaxy, I guess, left scars. And I think it's absolutely crazy, and it is just a scary scene and set. For number six, I have the scary, satanic-looking Jabba's Palace from 2003, and this set is freaky to its core. From the flames coming out of the top, like to a crawling spider with katanas for legs, and the even creepy jo creepier Jabba figure that looks like a piece of plastic snot, to the actual black gates of what you would assume to be the plastic version of hell itself. Okay, m maybe that's a bit too far of, of an exaggeration, but it is definitely scary, and I don't know how to get it got past its design phase. They also did make a Han Solo like body shrine that they made back then, which I think is also creepy. It's almost like an addition to this set. So I would definitely add that to the list for another creepy set on here. It would, I, I wouldn't include it on the number, but it is definitely a nice addition to, you know, really hone in that scariness. And it is just crazy and amazing. For my number five pick, we have the Hoth Wampa Cave. This set may even be more gruesome than the original movie scene itself, and that thing was pretty gruesome. We have Luke dangling from the ceiling, and you know, Snowspeeder, that's all fine and dandy, 
Uh, we see the Tauntaun ribs, which I'm pretty sure is scary itself. But what we don't see in the movie is the random human skeleton body. At no point did we see a person's body in the Wampa Cave that the skeleton that the skeleton would be there to represent. No point. And that really makes you wonder whose body it was and what it was doing there and how it got there. And uh, I, don't, I don't like thinking about it. But seriously, why is there a skeleton in here? Can we name him George? Is that George the Skeleton in the Wampa Cave all the way, I believe, back in 2011? I don't know. I just know that I'm scared and I don't want to know, actually. For my number four spot, we have the murderous teddy bear home, the Ewok Village. I don't think anything drives this set reason for being on here more than the Ewok hunt mission we see in Battlefront 2, where you are hunted down by Ewoks in the dark. In this set, we have a Stormtrooper, Scout Trooper, and Death Star Trooper drum set right behind a fireplace where you can burn a human alive, that specific human being Han Solo. And they're so excessive because they have a drum set literally like three studs away from the Stormtrooper head drum set. And on top of what makes it even scarier are the spiders and spider cobwebs and scattered all around the Ewok village. And I hate it, and it's grossing me out just thinking about it. And it has to be the most, like, skeevy, skeeved out set ever. And I don't know who came up with the ideas to put spiders on it. I don't remember spiders crawling around in the movies. And I don't want to think about it at all. But, yeah, let's move on to our number three spot are we already at. Wow. At number three, we actually have a really dark scene. This is the Tusken Raider encounter. You know, I'm, I'm genuinely shocked LEGO actually made this, considering how, you know, anti-violence and stuff they are and why they won't do the Jedi Temple or Order 66 because of all the violence surrounding them. And this is the scene where Anakin killed not just the men, but the women and the children, too. Yeah, that's pretty uh, questionable and scary. And I don't know what George Lucas was thinking, or anyone, or Padme for staying with him. And his old mom also died there, so you know that that's another that's another pretty scary thing. Uh, so yeah, I think that well earns the number three spot in the fact they made that. I'm I'm genuinely shocked. I didn't know about this until I was looking at all of the sets to determine which are the scariest. And the fact that it exists makes it even like more ironic. For my number two pick, we have the Rancor Pit. This set is straight up scary, I'm gonna be honest. The big scary Rancor mold that can literally eat like at least three minifigures in it and has a giant b bones and skeletons all over it. The giant sharp gates that the Gamorrean can fit right into the, his mouth and they're just giant gates and giant dropping features to crush the Rancor's neck and it has all the, it's, it's just a creepy set. And I don't like it, and it definitely deserves the number two spot for the scariest LEGO Star Wars sets. Now, before we get into my number one pick, I have a few honorable mentions. First, we have the ATSD Raider from the 2019 Mandalorian set, which I think was very menacing in that episode, and it was really something to be feared, especially by the characters with like the red lights in it and just how you know scary it was compared to how we saw them as stupid little chicken walkers in the movies. And I thought that was really cool. We have the Shadow Arf Trooper for being a very cool spoopy trooper. And he's in black. And, you know, LEGO doesn't do that too much. The Technic C-3PO for, you know, just being plain creepy. I mean, look at that thing. The Imperial Shadow Trooper's Battle Pack for being super shady and spoopy. And I thought a nice inclusion would be every buildable figure ever. Because they were all creepy. Except for Commander Cody. He was pretty cool. And finally, we have the number one pick, and it is the buildable Yoda sets. Not just the set, it is all of them. Not just the first one, it also the newer 2019 one, and even the buildable Baby Yoda. Now, the main problem I have with these is that the eyes, obviously, except for maybe Baby Yoda. The first one we have that came out all the way back, I believe, in 2001. It looks like it has just seen something it should not have. And in the next one, we look like... The Yoda had just seen too much, and with Baby Yoda, who's probably one of the better ones, it still looks creepy as anything, and those scary, scary things should be banned from civilization and never seen again, and I honestly don't like them at all. It looks like they, I, I don't know who designed the eyes for these things. I think the mouse got progressively better, but other than that, they're just absolutely terrible. But what do you guys think? 
I think I probably missed a lot, so please tell me what I did wrong. If you thought all my picks were correct, tell me what order you would put them in. I want to hear all your thoughts down in the comments below. Please remember to subscribe, hit the bell, like, stay safe on Halloween, and tell me what you're going to be for Halloween. I'm, I'm curious to hear. Uh, you know, do all those other things, and we'll see you all in the next one. Stay safe out there, peace out, and stay awesome.